Hey again everyone, I'm really excited to show you this creepy crawly because I bet this is the biggest wasp you've ever seen. Take a look. This is the great black wasp and it's almost three inches long. So this is nothing like your regular yellow and black striped wasp. For starters, this doesn't live with other wasps in big groups. It doesn't make hives. Uh, what it does instead is it digs a hole and it puts its larva, so that's its little baby, that looks like a little squidgy thing, inside the hole. But what's the larva gonna eat? This guy goes out hunting for food, picking up crickets and grasshoppers, paralyzes them with its sting, and then drags them back, stuffs them in the hole, buries them in there, and the larva now has a juicy, paralyzed cricket or grasshopper to eat. Mm. And then when it's big enough, it'll just dig itself out of the hole. You might even have seen some of these holes in pathways on the ground. A lot of those holes that you see are from wasps that have actually dug their way out after eating crickets and grasshoppers that just have had to lie there and take it. So nature is dark. The good news is that like most creepy crawlies, this doesn't want to sting you. In fact, it wants to get away from you ideally. If you see one, it comes over and it might even land on you. Just take a deep breath, calm down and let it fly away. Because if you try and bat it away, if you try and slap it, that's when it's most likely to sting you. So once again, stay calm and let it fly away. Pretty cool, huh? Very creepy, but also what an amazing bit of biology. You don't want to get rid of these guys because remember, these are killing crickets and grasshoppers. If you have too many crickets and grasshoppers, guess what? They're eating your crops, they're eating your grass and your flowers, and that's no good for anyone. So these guys help keep things in balance. And that's what nature is all about, balance the right amount of each different part of the ecosystem. So once again, let them be, you can have a really great garden. Are you going to let it go? I'm going to let it go, yeah. Okay. What kind of wasp is it? It's called a great black wasp. We're going inside. It, 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 I'm, no, I'm not that. getting close to that. The That's stinger is growing, is growing small and then it's going bigger. It wants to get out. It wants to get out. Yeah, we're going to let him go because it's quite stressed like this. I can't be very happy uh, in this little... Uh, it's going to... Are you going to take him? We're going to take him over there, let him fly off into the uh, into the air and off, maybe off into the trees. You're going to... You have to run away when you're going to... I'm gonna run really fast and so it's gonna go. Yeah. Alright, so here we are in the middle school garden. Now do not do this at home, but because I want to show you that these guys really don't intend to harm us. I'm going to do something that I've never done before, and that's put a great black wasp directly onto my hand. how it's not stinging me at all. All it wants is to get out of here. And the poor thing is pretty stressed being trapped in there. So I kind of want to let it out as quickly as possible. Let's see what happens. Look at the size of that thing. Incredible. Looking for a space to hide. It's probably knackered. It's probably, probably tired after all of that stress. She doesn't really want to fly much at the moment, she just wants to have a rest. Maybe even uh, find one of those holes in the pain. So our great black wasp friend is now settled somewhere in this leaf litter, which is a good lesson to watch your hands if you're ever moving stuff around like this. Do not do it with your bare hands. Make sure you've got gloves or even better, a shovel. But he's in there, he's comfortable, and uh, we're happy to see him enjoy the middle school garden. 